Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. Last time, we murdered Professor Norzen, so let's go check out his bestiary entry, or his obituary, as it were. Whoa, nice picture you got there, dude. Well, you've got to go somewhere. But yeah, that was him all along, back in the prologue to help out Tiz there. Although we didn't know his name. I'm surprised no one recognized him. I mean, he's been around long enough. But I guess maybe he just is uh, rather reclusive, evidently. Well, he didn't predict things very well, did he? Your prophecies suck, Norzen. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Probably just your imagination. Can he really be assassinated, though? I mean, he's not like a, a government official or anything like that. I mean, he was a professor, although maybe by our campus standards, he's practically a government official. I don't know. Well, we'll have to deal with the crazy cat lady sooner or later. Or we could do side quests. So we're going to do that first by heading over to the Miasma Woods to see what Go is getting up to over there with Mephelia. Let's see, over here we actually do have a little bit of forest terrain. It's enough to change the enemy domain tables there. So I want to wait until it's nighttime in order to meet up with Drakes and possibly Wraiths for, for the bestiary there. But yeah, if there's only like one or two trees on some grass, that's not a forest, even in this game. That's just, it's treated as plains terrain as far as what enemies will show up where. So you can see like when you're kicking up the leaves like that, I think that's basically an indicator you're in the forest area. But uh, okay, so with Drake's, yeah, let's get a couple of you guys going there. That ought to be good enough. One frost might be good enough to kill them. But it, if they have, like, really high HP in whatever variation they're in, then it might not be enough. So go with two. That'll get the job done. Okay, so let's see. What I want to do is, yeah, switch over to the Mithril Bow. Even though we're astrologians and our weapon proficiency is really bad and our strength modifier is really bad and our agility modifier is really bad you'll still deal passable damage with the mithril bow at this point because we're much more powerful than the enemies at this point so we can get through them pretty quickly regardless uh oh we might not have enough to get the job done you could also use... Alright, there we go. You could also use Phoenix Downs on them if you really wanted to. But I didn't think that was really necessary here. Okay, so with these guys, yeah, we'll just uh, take, take them to the heat. Or the other way around. There you go. And you see, these guys don't deal too much damage to us, so... Yeah, why don't we even fight one more battle? See what we can get out of it. At least the mages will uh, get their turns fairly quickly. Whoa! Whoa! Calm down there, guys! Okay, maybe they can deal passable damage! But, uh, yeah, let's just go double frost. That ought to be good enough. And alright, so we're getting enough uh, for to get up to level 2 Astrologian. And level 3 to learn Precognition, one of my favorite abilities in the game. I think we got up to exactly the amount of, yeah, the, exactly the amount of JP I needed to learn that. It is a, our Precognition is a really good ability there. So it's 100% guaranteed, no first strikes or brave attacks against you. It is really nice. If only we had that ability in the first game, but we didn't. I mean, they had like, what was it, alarm earrings or something, but those aren't necessarily guaranteed like this is. And I wanted everyone to learn 
precognition, even though you only have, you only need one equipped for it to affect the entire party there. But I want it equipped on everyone. Or, not, or I want it to be available for everyone. So that way, in some situations or another, I might be able to give it, give, give precognition to one character or if another character needs a little help in a particular dungeon i could have more support slots available for them and move precognition to someone else and as you can see it is really quick to learn so you might as well get it for everyone there even at this point in the game it's really quick to learn but uh okay so for you yeah let's get rid of triple wield he's gonna need a little help with speed there to keep up with the enemies. And then let's see, for Adia, we don't need Divining Rod, really. I want to have Waste Knot for, uh, yeah, for using the battle items that I bought recently. And then, okay, so you got Waste Knot, and okay, we can get rid of that. Let's see, let's get Attack Up, Triple Wield. I'm going to give her Precognition since I don't need Divining Rod there. And then, let's see, with Magnolia, I think I can leave her as is. Let me see what her speed is looking like, or agility. Yeah, 23, 22, that should be good enough to be faster than the enemies most of the time. But, as you can see, you is a bit slower there. Now, the speed 20% up doesn't display here on the menu, but it does in battle, unlike the first game. So that's pretty nice. But yeah, why don't we give you a turban there since we're not going to put a stick on your head there. But that ought to be good enough as far as speed goes. Okay, so yeah, we'll just leave you alone there. Now, Tiz, I definitely want to have Dungeon Master for the Miasma Woods. Just like the first game, we're going to have some hostile terrain to cross. And then, let's see, why don't we give you Waste Knot? So really, I only want Tiz and Adia using the battle items, not the mages, because they've got magic to hit all enemies there. But there's also another reason why I want that. Or what is that? Yeah, another reason why I want uh, to use battle, or be able to use battle items here. They're a little pricey, but not too much so by this point. Okay, so you're looking good there. Let's get back onto our mithril axes. Because, well, we're in a forest and most of the enemies are going to be plant type enemies. What, do you expect them to be aquatics? Well, there might be. But in any case, okay, so we got that. You're good there. I don't have a clothespin for Magnolia because we're going to find one in the Miasma Woods pretty quickly, actually. So, yeah, why bother spending the money? You've got your rods ready to go. And then, yeah, let's just give you some Mithril Axes as well. Clothespins protect against the sleep status. It's not critical to going through the dungeon, but they're so cheap. And we're faster than the enemies anyway. I'm not really worried about damage too much. Well, usually. But I do need to heal up after uh, that battle there. Maybe... Going for that extra battle wasn't such a bright idea. Okay, should be everything. Yeah, Adia and Tiz are never going to be using MP, or at least not at the moment anyway. So I think they'll be okay. Okay, so we got all the equipment. I think we're good to go. Into the Miasma Woods. Although, actually, hold on a sec. Uh, let me take a look at the bestiary here. Okay, so we got all the entries for wraiths and drakes. So, yeah, I don't really need to fight at nighttime around here anymore. So, that's pretty nice. But, all right, now let's head into the Miasma Woods. So, yeah, there's going to be some puddles of... I don't know what that stuff is. There's no more miasma here, but uh, was it? It'll damage you if you don't have dungeon master equipped. I just want to make sure I got every little bit 
of the map completed over there. There's no achievement or anything for doing that. It's just my OCD, overactive as it is. Get that out. Are we going to run into any enemies here? Okay, there we go. Hey, a brave attack. Nice. Again, some new enemies, Great Moth and Greater Kent. So, let's see. With these guys, since I did get a Brave Attack, I'm going to have everyone try to use one BP. So, that way they stay at zero or above there. So, let's see. The Great Moths can confuse you with wing scales that may cause you to attack your allies or enemies. And uh, Greater Kent can silence you but that's not really dangerous about them what is dangerous is that they they can default which means if i attack them no conventionally they will I, I might not be able to kill them with just one character so to bypass that problem we've got antarctic winds because they are weak to water the moths are weak to wind so yeah, it's unaffected by barriers. That includes default there. Their base damage is 500. That's the same with all the weak uh, elemental battle items. But it can be increased, like, if the enemy is weak to the element, then it's 50% more, so 750. And, like, you, there's some equipment and effects and spells that can change that as well so it's not exactly fixed damage but close enough uh let's see i forget which one i had you examine probably the great moth but uh i'll double check that in a moment okay so we got the antarctic wind for the greater cat but let's use a tengu yawn the wind elemental one to deal with the great moth okay so yeah you examine that guy. Okay, good, good. And I think that should be good. Hey, we got... I kind of went through it a little fast there. Sorry, but you might have seen Waste Knot proc there for Idea, so we didn't consume the item. Hooray! Although I didn't get the examine on the Greater Cat, but we have another opportunity. So let's see what we can do. Uh, let's see, with you, why don't you just go with examine there, and then do the same thing, except Magnolia default. Yeah, I'll just do the exact same thing here. That'll be enough damage to get the job done. Yeah, you see the greater cat defaulted there, but we're still dealing the same amount of damage anyway. So, yeah, that's a really nice effect of battle items. Battle items are really good in this game. But, uh, okay, so... Yeah, took care of those guys. Let's give it another try. Against a new enemy. What do we got here? Trance. These guys, well, they are plant-type enemies. And they're weak to fire. So we want to exploit that. Let's see. Now, with you... I'm just thinking how much damage I'm going to need to kill these guys well it doesn't matter which one we examine really let's uh let's see okay so if i go yeah okay let's go with one examine three heats and then with magnolia let's go with Four heats, and then, yeah, the melee fighters will just let them sit back a little bit. Okay, I'm probably not going to get the examine in now. Oh, or we can! Although now I'm going to use two more BP. Not that it really matters at this point. We're already playing with house money at this point. Getting all those brave attacks, that really helps out a lot. Okay, I'm just thinking if I really want to use another Tengu Yon, probably. Okay, so since we don't have a whole lot of uh, 
beat excess BP. Now we might as well practically go all out. Uh, let me see what we can do here. Okay, so I'm thinking if there's a way maybe I could get away with like two attacks and then a battle item to finish them off. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think it can... I'll try, but I don't think it'll work. Especially if the Greater Cat decides to default to there. Okay, so we'll just go like that. Yep. Well, at least we're dealing decent damage. Yeah, we just need a little... Oh, come on! Well, at least we got Waste Not to proc there. I'll be honest, I like Waste Not more so for emotional reasons than for, you know, practicality. I just love seeing it proc there and saving me an item and money. Hmm. Okay, so with these guys, I might be able to kill them with tramples. But let's kill the big one first, if I can. I think I'm going to be a little short, but unless I want to toss bomb fragments, which I don't. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it this way. Oh, I think we might be able to get it then. Hey, hey all right. But even then, do I want to go for another battle? Uh, No, I don't think so. I don't want to push my luck. I... Got the two brave attacks there. That's uh, as, as lucky as it gets there. Especially at this point in the game. Later on, it gets much easier. But right now, not so much. Oh, we didn't even take any damage either. I mean, I knew that. But uh, all right. Okay, so yeah, you could just pass right through there. With the Dungeon Master, don't have to worry about any damage. Okay, so we got those. And then, what else do we got? I'm thinking if I need to go to the lower right here. Yeah, I think I do. Yep, there we go. There's... Oh! Well, there's a blue treasure chest. But we can't open it. It's locked. Well, three enemies... Totally unprepared for free. But, uh, okay, so, like, this time we don't have the brave attack. So, let's see, I think I'll just do the same thing dealing with the, well, all of these guys. Okay, so let's go two attacks on, well, no, I think one ought to be enough on that guy maybe okay so if i get one hit there i don't think i'm gonna be able to kill all of them with just one character without using two battle items so let's see if i attack the cat or the moth and hit their elemental weakness that'll be enough to kill them but not the other so yeah i don't think that's gonna work out too well Okay, so let's go with that, and then, oh, no, I just want the one attack there, then Antarctic Wind, Tengu Yawn, that ought to be good enough to get the job done, definitely on the other two, yeah, that should be good enough, might as well not waste the BP, uh-oh, they defaulted there, but yeah, we can just pierce right through that. Very nice. Okay, so... Let's see, there are... or there, Well, there is another new enemy. Well, a couple more new enemies. Mykonids! Just like the first game, they counter physical attacks with spores, which summons more of them. So the only way you're going to really deal with them is with magic or your battle items. And even stealing triggers their physical counterattack I think that's different from the first game, if I recall correctly. But, uh, okay, so, yeah, why don't we just get the good examine in there? I'm not sure if three heats will be enough, though. So, why don't we have Magnolia do the same thing, but keep Tiz on standby. 
Yeah, that we're probably going to be a little... No, we're not going to be a little short. It's going to be a lot. Well, good thing I had her help out. Well, yeah, when you encounter new enemies and waste time examining them, it can be tricky. Hmm. Okay. I don't want to use battle items here, even though I could. I could probably kill them with just my physical attacks if I don't trigger their counter, which I think it's not absolutely guaranteed, but it's very likely at the very least. I'll go for it. I'll play it a little risky. Well, that's what I get. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh... Well, that, that's... Uh-oh. This could be really bad. Or maybe not. Maybe I should have waited for the mages. But yeah, now we gotta wait to get all of our BP back. Oh, well. But, uh, let's see. See, I think we can do okay with just the third heat. But why don't we just use something else? Uh, lightning, so I don't use more... Uh, what is it? MP than I have to. But, uh, well, not bad on the JP there still. Working on getting that, uh, JP up going, but, uh, well, one thing at a time. Okay, so, yeah, now this time, yeah, why don't we have Tiz take care of the healing since his MP is doing okay. Not that it really matters. But, uh, okay, so we got that. We're all set and ready to go. Okay, so... Let's see, up and around here, and then in the lower right, I believe, we have a treasure. Yeah, there we go. Let's see, with this part, there's something in the... Oh, yeah, there's a treasure in the upper right. Hey, hey, another Antarctic wind. I could use it. And I could use a new bestiary entry, or new enemy, Troll! Well, I guess they're not new, but uh, this one is considerably tougher than the one we fought way earlier in the game. Unfortunately, they are weak to light, which I have no way of exploiting, so this could get dicey. But at least I don't have to examine them again, because they have the same name as the guys that we fought before. So what I'm going to do is go all out on the tramp there. I'm thinking if I want anyone else to join in on this. Because of uh, the troll can default. They probably will. And they've got a lot of HP. But uh, let's see. At this point, I think I kind of have to do it this way. So let's see, if I don't do that, probably heat would be the way to go. Yeah, why don't we go all out just so I can virtually guarantee being able to fight another consecutive battle? Normally, I wouldn't like to do this, though. Okay, well, they uh, didn't default, at least. But, uh, well, at least we don't waste any MP, either. Very nice. Got extremely lucky there there's so much variance with turn order even with the about the same speed values but now we got these guys to deal with and i don't have any waste not users so let me see what we can do here i mean i could still use the battle items it just wouldn't uh I mean, I would actually consume it, though, guaranteed. I'm just thinking if maybe I could use some of my magic to help out, but if the greater cat's default, then I'm screwed. So, how about we just go with one of each there, even though I know they're going to get consumed, but that's okay. Yep, good thing I did that. All right, got them all. Okay, so, yep. Yeah. Fight another one. 
Okay, so magic is not that extraordinary against the trolls right now. Hmm. Let me see what their stats look like. Wow, they don't they actually don't have that good physical defense, oddly enough. Okay, so with the trance, I'm just thinking maybe I could go heat dart against them and then like anything against the troll there. Might as well. Or I could just go four heat spells. Probably the cheapest way. I'm not killing the troll, no matter what I do, so... Yeah, we might as well go with this. But yeah, default would even mitigate my magic damage. <laughs> Thank you for defaulting when we were all in negative BP. <laughs> Alright. Um, you know, I could just wait one more turn for Tiz to help out. And this guy's probably going to go berserk anyway. Yep, just like the boss. Oh, they got a physical buff. Uh-oh. Well, that could have been worse. But, uh, yeah, now the guy's in negative BP. Usually that wouldn't be relevant if I was already... Uh, what is it? If, well, nah, whatever. But, uh, let's see. Okay, so, eh, not bad, considering I thought this might be just a one consecutive battle. But, uh, alright, so, let's get healed up. That's all the new enemies around here. There are, or no, wait, there's one more new enemy. One more. But, uh, this screen is actually pretty good for uh, killing a lot of different types of enemies if you're trying to rack up those kills for the bestiary there. Okay, so around here, yeah, another treasure. Who leaves these chests lying around these places anyway? I don't know. Maybe it's the same people who leave pots lying around full of rupees. Well, it might be. But, uh, okay, so... At this point, let me see what we're, what we've got for some of the enemies. Okay, so a new enemy is fairly common on this screen, but let's see. So for Myconids, Greater Moths, and Greater Ket, they're more commonly encountered on the previous screen there. So you might want to watch out for that. But let's see, like Trolls, they're pretty common on this screen. You could run into two of them at once. Holy cow. But we already got the Greater Cats, so we're good to go there. Greater Mo or Great Moss, we're good. And Trance, we're good. So, yeah. Yeah, we got everything I needed already. I would recommend uh, making sure to get all the bestiary entries now while you still can because uh, after the side quest you'll be taken back to ant chime i think or something or other after that cutscene travel oh there's also the uh myconids okay yeah we need more myconids i'm gonna have to go back to the previous screen to clear them out Eventually. I mean, there are some on this screen, but not very many. Okay, so... Oh, did I ever get that, uh... What, that clothespin yet? Oh, I thought it was much further in... Or, much earlier in the dungeon. You see, I thought there was another one here, though. Hmm... Did I miss it? Well, first, let's take a look at the moon-based development. Hey, all right, we got Dragon Slayer. That'll be really good for the one of the bosses at the end of the chapter. But let's see what else we got around here. Okay, so we're looking pretty good there. Let's see, with the rest of these, let's see what we got. Okay, yeah, I don't really care that much about Parts Lab Gamma at this point. But I would like to get Delta going a bit more. 
So let's see. I'll just put 10 more there because usually I only have 26 uh, workers in the village right now. And yeah, I would like to get a bit more power out of my special moves. But yeah, I'm, I thought there was a clothespin around here. But, uh, no, I guess not. It's not on my list. I thought it was here. Hmm. Well, I'll take a look. Off screen. After fighting a new enemy. Okay, so we got a Rowney. There, another plant type enemy. It's either weak to fire and they can paralyze you. So you want to watch out for that. Okay, so how about we go with... Oh yeah, Arane absorbs water. So that would be a problem when dealing with the greater cats. So... Let's see, if I have... You, let's go examine that guy. And then get Trample there. No, I don't think I'm going to have enough to guarantee killing all of them. Oh, no, not that. Okay, so let's go with two attacks on the troll. Oh, uh, oh, that is all I got. Okay, so let's see. Two on the troll, and then one on the, or no. Okay, let's get one more there, and then we'll go with an Antarctic Wind. And then I'd like to get another Antarctic Wind on these guys eventually. No, I can't do it that way because I wouldn't uh, have the have killed the Elrani yet. Okay, so you go like that. And then we'll have Tiz use the Antarctic Winds. Two more of those. That should be enough to even kill the troll there. And if Tiz goes first, well, it's not like the Elrani is going to go over maximum HP. So if it absorbs it, that's fine. Okay, so we got the examine, we kill the Arani, and yeah, the two Antarctic Winds. Okay, we ought to be good. Even though the troll defaults, the three Antarctic Winds will be enough to kill him still. Hey, two out of three for the Waste Knots. I will take it. Now, if we run into even more trolls, that would be a problem. But we don't. Hooray! So let's see. Now we can just go all out with heat here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need four of them to kill these guys. Oh yeah. That might be, not even be enough. Okay. I'm just thinking if I want to push it. I don't think so. There is a battle here. Where you can encounter two trolls at once. So I don't want to get stuck against them like that. They would kill you and maybe tis but uh all right so we got a balsam to cure the fear status or dread status but i don't think that's uh relevant here okay i think i know where the problem is but let's go over here first and figure this out okay there it is yeah i made a typo in my notes, I thought this chest had a balsam in it, but yeah, I wrote the wrong item down, but there we go. Not that it's an extraordinary concern. Uh, the only enemy that can actually put, or put you to sleep here are the tramps there. But as you can see, they usually die before that becomes an issue anyway. So that's pretty nice. But, uh, okay, so we got that. Uh, let me see. So I need to kill some more Myconids. And there's only, like, one battle formation in the last screen there that would have one. So how about we clear the treasure first, and then I'll uh, come back if 
I need to. Maybe I'll disable the encounter rate so I can just get back to the screen uh, without a problem. But, uh, all right, a little more treasure or more money. Okay, then let me see something here with the items I bought. Okay. Yeah, I was looking for that because, well, we got something coming up here. Okay, so if we go up the middle here... Well, we might as well get that first. Now, well, fortunately, the game... Rewarded me for being prepared there with the... The clothespins there. But alright, we got another set of mithril knuckles there. That's why I didn't buy two earlier. Just wanted to make sure, like, wait a minute, did I buy one or two of those? <laughs> But, uh, alright, I think that's all the treasure around here. Or, in the dungeon entirely, really. Let's see, maybe one more battle here. Okay, I cleared out the rest of the bestiary there. At least with the Mykonids. Yeah, there we go, they're totally done. So, make sure you've got all the bestiary entries done before wrapping everything up here, because you'll get taken out. But, uh, okay, yeah, even though they're mushrooms, uh, they're not plants, right? They're, like, fungi or something. I don't know. I'm an engineer, not a biologist. Or a botanist. But, uh, okay, so we got all that taken care of. Let's get ready for the end here. Okay, so... Okay, we got all the items that I wanted here. Okay, so with you, let's see. Now, I want him back on triple wheel there. Along with good measure. And then, let's see, with Adia, let's leave her mostly the same. Let's see, might be nice to have the physical defense there. Not that it's absolutely critical. But every... Or wait, no, I need... Uh, Okay, I need defense. I don't really need waste knot, but it's there. Oh, right. I don't need precognition for boss fights there. I'm trying to keep things in order at least as much as I can. So I know where everything is. Okay, then you go attack. It doesn't really matter what order these abilities are in. I just like putting them in the same order so I know so I don't really have to think about it that much okay you are gonna remain the same and then okay with Tiz though I want him to be a thief so let's go with that and then I think miscellany yeah we'll get you going on that don't need to worry about any more hazards around here but I think everything else is the same. Okay, good there. Let's see. So yeah, let's get you back onto triple rods. I suppose mittens would be better. Better. There's no status ailments for us to worry about here. Okay, let's get you onto the mithril knuckles since we don't really care about creature types coming up. Okay, and then I'm going to equip the Osafune, even though it is a bit weaker than the Mithril Axe, but it has a 15% crit rate, so that's pretty nice. So I like the crit rate better, but you could go either way, really. Oops, i uh, get you on the mittens. Even though we're in a swamp area, it's not really that cold. But I'll take what I can get. Okay, so with Tiz, definitely give him the Mithril Bow. Yeah, look at that attack power. Although I'm not really going to be using it to attack. Hmm. Okay, and then, yeah, same thing as Adia. Let's get the Asafune going for the crit rate. Let's see. Okay, everything is good there. Special moves. How are we doing on those? Okay, good, good. We've got everything I need. Let's see, let's go with Lightning! Oh, I don't have Power Boost level 4 yet. Yeah, I'm just like an hour behind getting it, but whatever, it's not a 
big deal. I still won't be able to use all of my attacks before the boss is dead anyway. Okay, all of that is the same. Then enfeebling. Normally I want physical attack down, but I'm going to go with magic attack instead. To demonstrate, for the purposes of demonstration. So we'll just go with that for now. And then, or wait, do we have... Let's see. No, we don't have physical defense down. Okay. Like, is there a reason for that? Or no, no, that's all we got. Okay, so we've got all that. Let's uh, rep. Uh, no, I don't want to play Chompcraft right now. Oh, but we get a little more going on here. No, we don't. Okay, not really. Never mind. Okay, so we've got that. What do I have in the bestiary now? I thought I cleared all of that. Oh, we got a bomb arm. That's the uh, strong elemental item for fire damage. But yeah, that is a base damage of 1,500. So a lot more powerful than the bomb fragment. Okay, now can we rest up here? Oh, did I? Okay, yeah, I got the encounter right back to normal. I disabled it when I went to the previous screen off screen. So I wouldn't, uh, uh, was it fight more battles than I otherwise normally would? Oh, uh, right, right, save. There we go. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's see what's going on with Go Getter. Uh, what is that? I don't know. Okay, well, we gotta talk to... Uh, Mephelia to yes, get going. Yes, so close. Uh, we're so close. Uh, yes, we are. We were so close. <laughs> Why must you always interfere, Idia? <laughs> What do you think this is? A threesome? Oh, put a sock in it. I'm not interfering with nothing. I was just looking. I have a letter for Go from his master. I came to deliver it. That's all. Yeah, after fighting all those trolls on the way here. A letter? From Mr. Kami Izumi? He sent you off to me? Yeah, to murder you. That's right. Maybe. It seems he's worried about you. Anyway, here it is. Well, I didn't think he actually could be worried about anyone, but okay. Uh, thank you. So, that's it? My dear student, when you stopped coming by for our daily dialogues on swordsmanship, I worried what had become of you. Oh. Well, either way, it doesn't... I mean, he had to... You know, gotta make a living and all that. I imagine that your situation now is difficult. But you must find a way to endure and overcome your difficulties. Isn't that exactly what he's doing? A young man who shirks from his first true challenge will never gain the confidence needed to succeed in this world. Though still constrained to this sickbed, I have been able to make certain inquiries. Oh, what do you mean? I understand that you are working for the Power Betterment Office, and that your duties are physically hard and demanding. Well, yeah. What did you expect? Perhaps you have begun to question yourself and curse your position. But remember, this is proof of your employer's expectations. And their unreasonable expectations. Only the most promising recruits are given such work that they might be instilled with strength and fortitude. Ball! I have heard from reliable sources that your supervisor has high hopes for you. Think of your fencing drills. Often they were hard and tedious, but by sticking to them, you gain strength and skill. Not enough. You learned fencing from my tome and pursued the magical arts at Alcampus. 
Well, yeah, I suppose might want to be ready for whatever career you can, you can get. I do not know what lies in store for you or what you might one day achieve. I can say only this. Now is the time to be strong. Gird your loins and plant your standard in the ground. Well, that's one way of looking at it. You are go-getter. Grit your teeth. Never waver. And you will overcome the trials before you. Oh, Mr. Kami Izumi. It's too late. I... I ran away. Like a coward. I think it's pretty courageous to... You know, leave a steady job to uh, try and do your own thing, I guess. Miss Idia, tell me, whatever should I do? Well, you are a go-getter. Look, I don't care what the reasons are. A workplace that treats promising young minds like that is no place for anyone. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Remember the mindless toil day after day. <gasps> How long do you intend to keep that up? Yeah, I mean, they just burn you out and throw in the new kids. You have a dream. A dream to summon the legendary Amaterasu. Who is that, anyway? Your name and mine will be writ large on the pages of history for all eternity. Yes. Is it, like, more powerful than, uh, Susana O? Oh? Go, what do you want to do? Honestly, I... I don't know. Of course, I want to stay here and continue my research. Well, it didn't look like you were researching anything to me. But at the same time, I accepted that job, and I've been taught to see things through. Taught by Mr. Kami Izumi himself, that is. He stressed the point many times in his book. For good measure? Hmm. It's a tough call, all right. What to do? What to do? But, uh, yeah, why don't we, uh... Oh, okay, I guess we have to choose right now. Yeah, unlike the previous decision point, yeah, you gotta... Decide right now, I guess. Okay, so... Let's see. So for the one that I'm going to be taking... Or I'm not going to be taking here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so... I think I choose this one. Master Kami Izumi is right. Go, you have to return to your job in Anshine. And the first thing you do when you get back is apologize to your supervisor, Okay. For being lazy? That's what's proper for anyone who follows the way of the sword. There's no swords over there in that factory! I... I suppose you're right. What are you gonna do? Summon Amaterasu to do the work for you? You can't be serious! Did spinning those cogs turn your mind and your spine to butter? Don't let swords for brains here tell you what to do! Well, what happened to your voice? Go back to work. Stick it out as best you can. If the job truly isn't right for you, then you can quit. I thought he already agreed, or came to that decision. But you still don't know what you could have accomplished there. You didn't give it enough time. Oh, maybe. So just go back and give it the old Al Campus try, yeah? Well, wouldn't that be the uh, Anchim try? You betcha! You're going to let those paper pushers put uh -oh. you back in your pen like a little piggy. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I shall not allow it. <laughs> yeah. Idia, if you want to take Go back to Anchime, it'll be over my dead body. Your proposal is acceptable. So, is he really worth that much to you? Enough for a knockdown, drag out fight that leaves one of us face down in the mud. Well, you're already used to it anyway. But, uh, okay, so yeah, now you get the no turning back here. 
But uh, let's see. So, okay. So if I choose this, I can Good back girl. out. Your swords for brains aren't completely dull. I mean, it's not like uh, Kamizumi is here to uh, argue. Okay, so yeah, why don't we just leave the encounter rate at nothing so I can save here. And then get back to it. Okay, there we go. But, uh, yeah, that ought to be good enough. What happens if I talk to Mephiel again? Oh, that same thing as you were saying before. Okay, let's try this one again. Honestly, I... Okay, yeah, let's just get back to the decision point. Uh, take him back. Master Kami Izumi is right. Okay, let's get back to the second point there. Okay, so... Yeah, now we can move forward from here. I knew it. You did come to interfere! <laughs> Very well. Let's get on with it. I will squash you! For boss time! For the sake of the future, Amaterasu shall be mine! I've abandoned my sweet but bitter past. Not really. Prepare to face Summoner Mephilia Venus! For boss time! Okay, so... First things first, yeah, we've got a lot of uh, different enemies to examine here. So let's have you use a piercing bolt and then go double lightning hammer on her. Wish I could. And let's see with the Dia. Let's go examine two of the legions there. Okay, so then we want to go with Moonbeam on Nephilia. And I want to use a Zeus's Wrath on all of them. Let's see, Magnolia, I'm not going to have her use her special move, but I do want her to examine Mephelia. Let's see, let's get a piercing bolt on her. And then, up. Uh, oh, wait, right, no special move. Yeah, just examine, then double lightning hammer on Mephelia. Tiz gets a little tricky here. Let's go with Cursed Arrow to debuff all of them. And then, let's see, let's examine... The last of the Legion there. Let's get a mug on Mephelia. And finally, top it all off with another Zeus's Wrath. And that should be good. This is the end for you. Well, I thought we're still pretty early in the game with you, but whatever works. But all right, so they're all debuffed. They've all got Lightning Week. That should help out. Okay, well, you could steal, oh, what is it, Mithril Rods from Mephelia, but it's a 50-50 chance with the, with stealing there, so, oh, well. Wow, look at that damage. Very nice. Well, at least we got Waste Knot to trigger. Oh, wow. Not bad. Yep. My sage, my sister, my Suleiman. But uh, all right. So we got, yeah, lots of uh, ethers. But yeah, no more rods. But you could buy more if you really wanted to. That's what I did in my first playthrough. In my first playthrough, I did use summoner quite a bit. But if you know what you're doing with uh, spirit magic, you really don't need summoning. I mean, summoning is practically just expensive wizard magic. It always targets all enemies, and it costs a lot of MP. But yeah, like I said, I mean, if you know what you're doing with spellcraft, with keeping your intellect stat high, with using your spirit magic, you really don't need Summoner at all to deal with a lot of enemies. Not to mention battle items, too. I'll remember this! Oh, 
Miss Mephilia. Yeah, you better go get her out of here. Ah, shut up. I want nothing more to do with you. Well, he didn't help. Go crawl back to your greasy cogs, you capricious sweaty pig. Oh, okay, or that. Well. <sighs> so, who's ready to go? Go? I... I am... Oh, and here, you can have this. Oh, what do we get? Uh, dude? I won't be needing it anymore. What do you mean? Oh, like her uh, summoning notes, I guess. Oh, hello, Miss Idia. Hey, how's it going? Hello, go. Working hard or hardly working? Well, either way. The latter, I'm pleased to say, we've finally implemented several of the measures I proposed for dealing with still winds. Oh, okay. I've been assigned to a new post in research and development. No more hard labor for me. Well, good, good. I'm not sure how turning those cogs manually was supposed to lead to that conclusion, but okay. Hey, that's great. It's the chance of a lifetime. I'm combining thaumaturgy and summoning magic with wind power to develop a hybrid power generator. Hmm, in the middle of an entire desert. Sounds familiar for some reason. Better think about this carefully. To think that my summoning research would be this beneficial to the city's energy security. Oh. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, but you must excuse me. This new data is not going to collect itself. What do you mean, data? Well, hasn't this turned out well? He's found his dream job at last. Oh. Yeah, I guess, if that works for you. And he seems more confident than ever. I know, right? Just look at how he's enjoying his work. I guess my advice was on target. You can enjoy work? I thought that's like... Why you got paid? Because it's not enjoyable. At the very least, I'm sure of that much. Well, that was anticlimactic. But, uh, okay, yeah, we, uh, yeah, let's get back to where we were before. I do not want to go with summoner, since, uh, the alternative is better. So let's get back here, but I do want to change... Uh, what is it? There's one thing I wanted to change. Oh, yeah, with the special moves, the debuff there. Since, yeah, we're not going to be fighting Mephelia this time around. Let's go physical attack down. Yeah, as you can see, even though I was a little behind on my uh, development there, I didn't have power boost to level 4, we still have more than enough power to get the job done. So even if you don't have several villagers, it's fine. They'll get the job done either way. Okay, so we got all that. Okay, yeah, everything is good to go there. But yeah, let's just do that just in case. Okay, let's try that one again. Hey, go get her. Honestly. Go get over here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, why don't you just go here? Instead. You should stay right here, Go. You have too much potential to be just another cog in that machine. Yeah, exactly. Miss Idia. Are you sure about this, Idia? What about your master? Well, he's not here. To heck with him. Forcing yourself to slave away at a job you hate doesn't help anybody. Yeah, exactly. Well, it helps your boss. I'll let your supervisor know. And master, too. Ah, okay. Well, if we see them again... Do your darndest here from Ophelia and summon this Amaterasu. Got it? Yeah, go for it. Go get her. <gasps> go get her. Idia, is something hmm? the matter? What's going on? No, it's just... Spider sense? You ignorant fool. You, you insolent fool! Master! Master Nobutsuna Kamizumi. 
holder of the Swordmaster Asterisk. No, well, not that much of a master. Leader of the Black Blades of Eternia, and the greatest swordsman in the Duchy. He instructed Idia in the way of the sword. Shouldn't Idia be the greatest, well, in the Duchy? His disciples are found now? across the realm. Drawn to him by his surpassing skill with the blade and the quiet honor within his heart. Not that honorable. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? I heard the exchange, or enough of it at least. For what? Then you heard my reasoning. Surely you understand, Master? Yeah, I mean, we train all day. We. We're directly benefiting from our efforts. I am disappointed in you, Idia. Your advice is naive and shameful. Uh, I just saved the world, dude, from a however many billion year old entity. Master? What have you done? Being but a cog in a machine does not mean one's efforts are devoid of value. Yeah, to you! You counsel a guileless youth, still ignorant of the world, to throw up his hands at the first hint of hardship. Uh, he just, like, went through college and all that back at our campus, dude. Not exactly free of hardship. Recklessly, you urge him to question his role, before he can learn for himself which role suits him best. Well, yeah, he came over here! What lesson have you taught the boy that will help him overcome the next challenge that he faces? To follow your dreams? Make no mistake. By encouraging him to give in to his weakness, you will bear the responsibility for making Go less of a man. I don't think so. As master to my pupils, I too bear responsibility. And I will not shirk my duty. Well, what do you mean? It's not exactly in your hands anymore. If you persist in your shameful counsel, you leave me no choice but to draw my sword. Over a career path? Well, I suppose this is another form of a career path, as it were. But yeah, this time, yeah, let's fight, Kamiyazumi. Get to the point. Literally. It would seem you still have much to learn. Well, I don't think so. The lesson begins, Idia. Draw your blade. Now I am the master. For boss time! I shall dispense with the formalities. Swordmaster Kamiizumi stands before you. For boss time! Okay, so. It's pretty much the same thing as we did against... Uh, Mephelia, their piercing bolt, double lightning hammer! And then, let's see, with Idea, let's examine two of the black blades there. Then get Moonbeam on Kamiyazumi. And I want to use a Zeus's Wrath to soften up the rest of those guys. I'm not having Magnolia use her special move so I can let her do the examining and then yeah double lightning hammer and then let's see with tiz let's go with cursed arrow to soften them all up examine the last of the black blades and then i really hope mug steals the item i want from kamiyazumi followed by another zeus's wrath and that should be good i'm back and better than ever yeah, pretty much. So yeah, physical attacks are what I'm worried about here from all of these guys. I think some of these guys are actually weak to lightning without the lightning weak, but not Kamiyazumi, but... Oh, right, so we stole a couple more Osafunes, but if you don't really care about that, you could just buy more. But I would rather be able to steal from him... Okay, we did get the examining on Kamiyazumi there, at least. And let's see, Adia should be able to finish... Yeah, she'll finish him off with the Zeus's Wrath. Who wants a beat yeah, that's a, 
another reason why Summoner isn't really as good, the items are so good. I'd rather pay the money than uh, the MP. But, uh, alright, we got him. And, yeah, no magic items there. I forget what Catch Me Conk does. Well, it's another battle item that I never use. But alright, for defeating Kamiyazumi, we get the Swordmaster Asterisk. But yeah, the thing I really like about Swordmaster is, yeah, their proficiency with katanas. It is really good. I, I have failed my pupils and my blade. Ha ha. Master! And we'll never see him again. Uh, please forgive me. I never meant to start a fight between you and your master. Well, you did. Don't worry. It's not the first time. He'll come around. Yeah, I mean... I beat him. Thank you, Idia. It's not like I did it for you, you know. Yeah. Just take this research seriously. Summon this Amaterasu. And use it to make the world a better place. By murdering people! Or mass murdering people! Oh, we will. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Oh, what's going on later? Uh, oh, still no good. That's... Just a bit more. You were so close. Oh. Hmm? Dude. Oh, Miss Idia. Hey. How's it going? Working hard as always, I see. Yeah, exactly. Yes, <laughs> but not much to show for it. That's... You look like you're getting closer, though. Yes, I've finally been able to apply all that I studied at Alcampus. Well, good, good. I'm practically worried it's too good to be true. Well, maybe. That's a good worry to have, if you ask me. Indeed. I'm glad I didn't make a big mistake letting you stay against Master's wishes. Yeah, I mean, I'm not the one who has to suffer the counts. Well, okay, yeah, I did kind of suffer some consequences, but... I must thank you again, Idia. Hamaterasu will be ours any day now. Seems like we got happy music for no matter what decision we made. Finally, I can fulfill my promise to my own master. Who's your own master? Your master? You mean Sage Juliana? Yeah, from the first game. Where is that guy anyway? Now that you mention it, we haven't seen him once since all that went down. How is the old lech? Yes, well, I imagine he's as lecherous as ever. Hmm. Hmm? You haven't seen him either? Oh. Hmm. About a year ago, he fought a tremendous battle with the ball that fell to Luxendark. Oh, really? <gasps> he intimated to me the existence of Amaterasu and one other summoning spell, and then went off somewhere as is his wont. Well, yeah. Where to? Sounds like him. I would assume... The sky? To the moon? No. Think higher. What do you mean, higher? You don't mean heaven. Or that, uh, what was that, the celestial realm they were talking about in the first game? <laughs> what do you think? Uh, oh, maybe you got there, I don't know. Miss Mephilia. What if we were to try introducing harmonics to the time-space chant? What do you mean? Not a bad idea. Let's give it a try. See you around, Idia. Yeah, see you around. Well, I'm not coming here again. Well, except for that blue chest. And you. And you. And you. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Who are you talking to? I don't know. 
but all right we got him or we got sword master so i'm gonna be putting that one to use in the long term primarily for katana lore it's really cheap to learn and it'll greatly increase the physical attack power that you'll get out of katana but where exactly is that compass of space and time that Professor Norzen was talking about. Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!